It is impeccable to believe that in the last few years, Pakistan has lost more than 1,000 civilians in, a, in the terrorist attacks. Currently, about 150,000 soldiers are employed within the country to fight terrorism and extremism. Um, Rating 127 on Gender Inequality Index, I do believe that Pakistan has a lot of problems of a developing country. But this is all that the global media knows about us. Us as a civilization with great culture and heritage that dates back to thousands of years. There's a lot of uh, research in the media that how the social media focuses just on the negatives. And there's also psychological research that indicates how our minds are tamed to focus more on the negatives. So at My Watch and Heard, we try to negate the unidimensional, stereotypical and negative image of Pakistan. And what we do is that we achieve all of this through different avenues under self-expression. Uh, which covers writings, arts, blogs, stories. So all of this helps in uh, highlighting that counter narrative and basically breaking the stereotypes about Pakistan. Well, when I heard first these uh, the very word, my voice unheard, I did not understand much. You know, I was wondering uh, what this was all about. But when Anam and yourself, you know, when you explain the what you are trying to do. And when I saw my own interview and the interviews of others, I felt this is a great initiative. There are lots of people in this country who work and uh, who contribute a lot, but then uh, they are they are not known. And this is a forum, I think, you know, uh, uh, through which the people will come to know the contribution. The lot of people silently do. Approach is very holistic. The stories uh, revolve around the individual and the, or the organization's life, work, their challenges, accomplishments and future goals. They are covered in a manner that our audience can relate with them and learn from them. Uh, we, our aim is to cover in-depth stories, be it of individuals who are already in the limelight or all those unsung voices that are silently creating an impact. Uh, we don't discriminate between a vendor, a security guard, uh, an artist, an entrepreneur or a scientist. Uh, there are no socioeconomic boundaries that uh, limit our stories. Uh, there's a dedicated team of writers, editors and digital media experts that are trying to create history here in the present. In the future, we want to show the rest of the world that Pakistan is not just a terrorist, custom, backward developing country. It has a rich culture and heritage that comes from its people. We are present on all major social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube and we have had some tremendous response from the audience and the, I believe that the organic growth of this project is the indicator of its success. And one interesting thing that we found out and observed was that through our stories, like-minded people are connecting with each other, they are collaborating and this has become a platform where diff people from different professions and mindsets are talking to each other and having a healthy con conversation. So the fact that, you know, you were interested in trying to get people who are not heard in a way like you are identifying with the people who don't have a voice. And so I think that's that's great. So when you do put this up, it will make a difference. To date, we have covered 150 original stories of people of Pakistan and they all belong to different diverse age groups, professions. And the main purpose behind all of this activity was to bring together, bring us together as a nation and highlight the positivity. Let us change the superficial, negative, stereotypical image to a more concrete, original and positive image of Pakistan around the world. For us, all these stories matter. And we believe that everyone has a story to tell. If you have a story to tell, please share it with us. My Voice Unheard is an initiative for the people, by the people.